into the stomach we go. Now, I threw on my picture of my big picture of your entire digestive tube just so you could remember where you are. What you know is that really right about here, how did I end up? What happened? This right here, we actually are, this is not to scale, but this is thoracic cavity. This is abdominal cavity. So by the time our esophagus travels into the abdominal cavity, we can enter the next space, which is the stomach. So let's label some parts of the stomach. First of all, what is this tube right here? That's the esophagus, dog pounds. And from the stomach, where are we going to go next? We're going to go into the small intestine. And the small intestine has many parts, and that's what we're going to talk about next. So the place where the esophagus actually enters the stomach, that's like the cardiac region of the stomach. And then there's like this bulge that goes superior, and that is called the fundus. The rest of this space is the body. The body is the biggest region of the stomach. And then we have the pylorus. And these are all like, I don't know, they're not, they're like zones. They're like regions of the stomach. There is a sphincter, which is basically just a thickening, a muscular thickening in, that separates the stomach from the small intestine. And the stomach is like crazy muscular. And why? Why, is, why would the stomach wall be really thick with muscle? What kind of digestion is happening in the stomach? There is a lot of mechanical digestion happening which causes the stomach to squish up the food. In addition, there is some chemical digestion that happens. And when we look at the histology of the stomach, we'll take a look at the cells that are producing enzymes that help digest proteins in your stomach. There are two regions in the stomach. Not, I don't know, these aren't really regions, but I don't know what to call this. Is it really, a, is it a structure? Or is it, like, what do you call this? What is it? It's not really a structure. It's like a place on the stomach. This is the greater curvature. Do you agree that if this is the greater curvature, does it seem like a greater curve to you? What's this little curve called? It's the lesser curvature. Do you agree? And I don't know, somebody tell me what you think that that is. Is it a structure? Not really. It's just a part of the stomach. It will come in handy when we start talking about the peritoneal cavity and some different mesenteries that we're going to make sure that we understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't label the cardia. Now I did. Let's go into the small intestine because that's next.